Hello, Microsoft Sam here. Today, we are going to go over the definitive way to play Duke Nukem 3D. Not much will change here. In fact, our method of definitive gameplay will not rely on a mod exactly. This is rather, a fix. Here, a fix. This is a gameplay slash bug fix made by Nightfright from Duke4.net. This fixes the bugs, glitches, and little quirks, which for those of you who played this game a lot, should be familiar. So, yeah, after applying this fix, you should no longer have any problems when trying to shrink the mini battle hordes. Sentry drone behavior has been corrected, as well as the behavior of other enemies. Actually, this game has a lot of subtle problems which most players don't notice. This fix corrects all those problems. However, some glitches aren't fixed, such as the God Mode Falling Death glitch, and the Baby Size glitch. But that's okay, these glitches are obscure and not game-breaking. This fix is compatible with most expansions, user maps, shit like that. Unfortunately, it's not compatible with the new Caribbean, Life's a Beach expansion. Damn it. Well, you know, Life's a Bitch. This fix certainly isn't compatible with mods, but we don't care about that. We only care about perfecting the vanilla. And we're gonna get started with that right now. The first thing you wanna do is, go to Duke4.net. Hover your cursor over hosted sites, to get a drop down window, then click HRP. When you are on the HRP site, click download. Now scroll to the bonus files category, find fixes for Duke Nukem 3D, and click the GitHub link under it. When you're on GitHub, click a button that reads clone or download. Then click download zip. Once your download is complete, go to, wherever you downloaded your zip file. Open your zip file and extract the folder from within. Now open the folder you just extracted. Now, select all of the files, right click, go to your archive handler, you should get a drop down menu, then click an option on the menu that allows you to archive the files. Remember, your archive must be in the zip file format. Now, cut your new zip file, go to your eduth 32 directory, and paste it into the autoload folder. If you don't have an autoload folder, create one. Now, go ahead and run eduth 32 You should get the setup window. On the setup window, make sure you check the box next to, where it says enable autoload folder. Click start. If the game menu font looks different, then you know the fix has been applied. You're all done. Hope you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and have fun kicking ass and chewing bubblegum, the definitive way.